Now, from Into Tomorrow, this is an ITTV special report. Lots of continued excitement here from the Intel exhibit and the Game Developers Conference. I'm Dave Graveline. Welcome back Into Tomorrow. Our next guest is a composer, producer, multi-instrumentalist, remixer, among other things. He's worked in the film and game industries. Very popular here at the Intel booth at GDC. It was hard to snag him away from a lot of folks trying to talk to producer, composer, and remixer Justin Lassen. Justin, welcome back Into Tomorrow. How are you? I'm doing really good. Thanks for having me back on the show. It's a pleasure. We had a lot of fun with you last time. And, uh, and of course, this is the place for fun. Absolutely. You know, in addition to it being Intel and all the fun stuff they're showing here and a lot of attention getting and everybody uh, having a, a blast at, at GDC, it's also a game developer conference. So how, you can't help My but have fun. My favorite convention, yes. <laughs> I would imagine. Now, why is it your favorite convention? Of all the things you do and as a musician and everything else, gaming is really a big part of your life. It's because I, ever since I was a kid, I grew up as a gamer from Atari, from Apple IIe, I mean, on and on. I mean, games are just my childhood. That's my heart, you know, yeah. so... This is the this is the show for me. I love this place. No doubt a passion for this industry. Yes. And, and yes. you do have fun with it. As well, you should. So what have you got in particular? What brings you to GDC this year, other than the obvious fun part? Uh, other than the obvious uh, fun part, um, I'm here showing off an Intel tablet uh, oh. uh, that runs Intel's uh, distribution of uh, Linux called Mego, and it runs. And this is actually not a giant iPhone. I know it looks like one. It does. Oh my <laughs> God! It, I mean, the actual shape, design. It looks like an overgrown iPhone and on steroids yet. Yeah. <laughs> because it does so much. I'm sure. It's pretty cool, and it's pretty wow. light, pretty thin. Um, it it's got, of course, the Intel Atom processors. Of it's got course. Two gigs of RAM. Um, pretty sweet little setup. I'm going to have to ask Jeff Abate about this. I haven't seen one of these yet. <laughs> <laughs> so what wow. I like about there's the camera right there. It's got HDMI, front facing three camera. USBs. Wow. Those of you watching uh, on the video, of course, you're seeing this. If you're driving, don't worry. Don't panic. You can always come back to the website uh, anytime at your leisure at intotomorrow.com, and you're going to see the things that Justin's talking about and that we're showing here. This is a sweet tablet. Is yep. this available? Um, yes, it is. Um, this particular um, build of Migo is called Endomix, and why it's called that is it's built for musicians and composers. So they did a lot of like stuff with the kernel and just uh, underground stuff inside the system to optimize it for real-time audio, MIDI uh, sequencing and stuff. So like, are you able to, to bring up a keyboard, for example, on this? Uh, what I was going to bring up was... Um, a Linux Migo version of like Pro Tools, you know, the, ah, the popular. Um, and it's called Ardor. And as you can see, it's basically a full um, audio sequencer running on an Atom processor. And that blew my mind because I didn't think that Atom could really do all that much. And then uh, the fact that this could actually play you know, multi-channels of audio and mixing and EQ and plugins was pretty sweet. Yeah, um, I mean, look at this is multi-channel. Can I scroll up on it or something? Um, or I'm, I'm scrolling a clock or I just messed up your composition. Oh, no, it's cool. Uh, <laughs> I just totally rewrote something that Justin's working on. <laughs> yeah, this is actually uh, for a film tra yeah, trailer I'm working angle on. Angle it here so the camera can see. There we go. So uh, for a film trailer that you're working on. Yeah, that's right. And then Multi-tracks, all kinds of elements the, um, here. Let's see, window mixer this is probably a prettier view so you can see all the uh looks like chris's console <laughs> over there only exactly. only virtual with all of the faders and eq and the various things you one would expect to see and there's uh, on even a mixer. yeah exactly and what's really cool is there's even like eq plugins from ssl like solid state logic and things really? like that yeah pretty sweet uh, wow. a, pro a programmer from ssl that worked there for 14 years, created special Linux DSP plugins for and it. And this is all running on the Atom processor. Yeah. And it's handling it beautifully, no doubt. Exactly. And like you wow. would Who would have thunk it? What's cool about little devices like this is you can plug in um, tiny little keyboards um, oh, that sweet. are super portable. So it basically becomes <laughs> like a, a portable studio that you can take anywhere in the world, um, throw it in a bag. And because it's a tablet, you don't actually have to take it out at security. You just throw it in. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Love it. If for some reason, they haven't caught on, so they're not looking at tablets anymore <laughs> currently. That's awesome. And, and, of course, Justin whips out this really cool ultra-slim USB audio MIDI controller that's a, a keyboard and all sorts of controls one would expect. You can get uh, real creative with yeah, this stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 
So, yeah, together they make the perfect portable studio team. So. Wow, love it. Well, see, if I was only a musician, I could take advantage of these kinds of things. So, <laughs> well, but wait till Erasmo back in our Miami studio sees this, our, one of our main editors who, who is a musician. He's probably going to be eating his heart out. Yeah. So, ah, uh, we'll, we'll get him away from all those other little Apple things and get him on this. Cool. <laughs> so, love also, it. I heard it w your birthday's coming up, and uh, we geez. talked about something at the last GDC called Synesthesia where I collaborated with all the visual artists and all that stuff. And at the time, I was getting it mastered for release. And it finally came out, and I have a special collector's edition copy just for you. Really? Wow. Nice way to celebrate this weekend. Since it is, oh, check it out. Look at why. Well, oh, thank you, sir. It's two hours. Oh, fully Justin mastered. Larson presents Synesthesia. Wow. Very cool. A two-disc set. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, sir. That'll be very nice. Something something to enjoy on the plane trip back across country. Definitely. And I will do just that. You've got to check out Justin's site because when we talk about this guy is into everything, wait till you see what he does. It's JustinLassen.com, J-U-S-T-I-N, and his last name, Lassen, L-A-S-S-E-N, JustinLassen.com. We'll link you there. Just come by IntoTomorrow.com. We'll get you there. Justin, as always, a delight to chat with. Definitely. Keep being creative. I don't have to tell you that. You are anyway. But <laughs> That's my no, life, yes. No, no wonder he gets so much attention here at the Intel exhibit. Into tomorrow, of course, covering the uh, Game Developers Conference in San Francisco.